Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise A. And grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Hands down, the craziest episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind that I've ever done in the history of all time is about to go down right here in the David Villa Studios in Tampa, Florida. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lou, we made it. We made it. We, made it. we are on time. Can you believe it? Just barely. Incredible. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. That's right. It's Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. And what's crazy is today is the very first and very last time it will ever be Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. And so I want to make sure we make the absolute most of this incredible, incredible day. Oh, that's so much better. We've got to lose. So, so David Villa, my man David Villa, we're going to talk about him here in a little bit. But he's got this incredible team. And he's got this guy, Lou, that's going to switch back and forth between multiple camera angles and do all of my different slides and run all of my different videos. And he's going to do it all this morning. Normally, I do it all myself. But, like, I need to get on David Villa level where I have a team because this is kind of cool. We are live in the studio right here, Tampa, Florida, and you are about to be transformed by today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. That's my promise to you. By the end of this episode, we're going to have some transformational moments that are going to transform your life. Jeff Baker, you're like in the hotel right across the street. You should be here right now. Those of you that are here for David Villa's event, we're going to be here for another 25 minutes. Go ahead and hop on, hop over if you want. We're here. Joe Cal is here. My boy Lou's here. Oh, and the dude who was dancing with Joe Calla. Matias. 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 And Matias is here. If anybody else wants to join, it's awesome. You're welcome to do so. Listen, I'm going to give you the exact steps you need by the end of this episode. I'm going to give you the exact steps that you need to increase the impact and the influence that you make in your life. That's my promise to you. Exact steps. It sounds crazy. It sounds like we're not going to like, like, how can you do that in a 20 minute episode of hashtag rise and grind? But I am going to do that so that I hope that you are ready. Listen, last night I spent some time with these boys over here at David Villa's organization. We had an incredible dinner. I got an opportunity. Hold on. Wait, we had an incredible dinner. <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting for my pictures. We had an incredible dinner, and I had lots of people that I met and spent time with, and it was awesome. People like Joe Calla, and people like Craig Lockett. <laughs> I'm not getting any images here. We're we're trying to work this thing, but I'm not going to get. There's a delay. He says he's, there's a delay. Okay, I still don't see him though. But that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna rock through this anyway. But no, for real, it was an incredible, incredible uh, dinner and incredible experience yesterday. I got to speak here. We oh, there's some pictures. I'm starting to see them. We. Uh, Got to speak that the event that we're here is called Culture Matters. And we talked about how important it is and how impactful culture is on people's lives, whether it be the culture in your family life or the culture in your business, all those different areas, culture absolutely matters. And so I got an opportunity to keynote, which there's this awesome, like I walked in to the um, like little uh, what do they call it? like little VIP area and there was a magazine sitting there with my picture on it and it's my oh, picture no. and David Villa's picture and it was awesome. He said it's about to get real crazy. There's a picture of the magazine. Did you just show? Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> he's having some software issues. So he I had like 15 minutes to set this up in front of the camera, which is stinking funny. Um, but I walked in and <laughs> I walked in and there was, uh, you know, this magazine with my picture on it. And I thought, what a blessed moment, right? Like, how cool is this? A year after, right? A year after I, I, I left my comfortable position, my my comfortable position. It was a blessing to be a part of the Dan Cummins organization. We had grown that dealership so, so, so much. And we took a chance. We walked out. We took a step in faith. And now like I got to experience this incredible thing here at the David Villa Studios. It was absolutely phenomenal. But listen, we're getting a little bit sidetracked. We're having some fun this morning, I hope. And I appreciate you guys sticking with us as we're learning and we're growing because that's what we do. But yesterday was incredible. Today, we have an opportunity to make it even better. So before I get too far into this, you know what we got to do. We got to dance we're going to dance. We're going to do some dancing right now. I think, I hope, as long as we have music. Yes, I can hear it. That a boy, Lou. That's what I'm talking about. For those of you that know, and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button. Because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact on this planet. I absolutely believe that. And sometimes all it takes for you to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where I'm going to say good morning to you and I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, say what's up. I'll say what's up back. How you doing? Jennifer Jaskell, Brad Smith's up in here. My man Terrell Lake. What up T-Rex? Whitney Wells is in the house. How you doing? John Colton Bourne. We've got Sarah Ball and my man Josh. Oh, Laura Berman's up in here. Dana Fishbean, how are you? Janelle Griego, Neil Amaral, Mike Overfall. Oh, I'm sorry. Mike Overfelt. Uh, almost. Emily Goffler, Tracy Shepard, Michael Mills, Leanne Lancaster, Anthony Alagona, Matthew Kelly. We got, oh my gosh, everybody's up in here. Hi, Joanna Cooper Hamilton. How are you? I'm in Tampa, Florida, if you didn't know that already. What's up, Jeremy Noling? What's up? Roberta Rose Haycraft, Sarah Ball, all the way across the pond, and my man Tony Tito Washington, which by the way, interesting, interesting fact, we have Tony Tito Washington wrote this song that we're all listening to right now, the hashtag Rise and Grind song, and I had somebody reach out yesterday and was like, dude, that song is fire, can I get that song? And I thought, man, I forgot, we kind of released the song and forgot to tell people that it's still like, there's been new people that you've added to the group. Hi, Erica Tobin, we've had a ton of new people that have been added to the group. And so if you want to download that Rise and Grind song, you can do so, you can go to iTunes, any of those places, and you can download it. Look, yesterday, I was speaking to a bunch of people here and as I was talking to them, there was a lot of questions about like energy, sleep, coffee, all of those things. And I believe in our industry, we've got this epidemic where people are drinking like tons of energy drinks. It's just not healthy. It's just not safe. We're drinking way too much coffee. It's not healthy. It's not safe. And so I wanted to help change that. That's why Friday we will be launching the Thrive Challenge, 67 day Thrive Challenge. We'll be launching that on Friday. So that's an opportunity for you to get a healthy alternative to those Red Bulls, a healthy alternative to those Monster Energy drinks. So I want you to join me on that. It'll launch Friday. If you want to be a part of that and join me in that challenge, just comment the words. You can comment, I'm in, or you can comment, Thrive, and I will have my friend Blair Critch reach out to you. She'll reach out to you, go over everything, get you your product, do all all the things that you need to do. Listen, it never ceases to amaze me how one decision, literally just one decision, can completely change the trajectory of your life. My friend David Billa, who we're about, you're gonna about to see his pretty face here in just a second. My friend David Villa knows all about that. You see, years ago, he made some decisions that, you know, ultimately brought him, his family, and IPD 
onto a collision course with Matt, for, you know, for massive success. There it is, Lou. I see the picture. <laughs> it brought them on a collision course <laughs> for massive success. That is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> but he did. He made some decisions along the way. As I was talking to him yesterday, you see David Villa has built this incredible thing, this huge company. He's got lots of employees, and he's got millions in revenue that come through the doors, uh, you know, month in and month out. He's got different programs, different platforms. He's got all of these things, but that's what it looks like today. You see, yesterday him and I talked about what it used to look like in the past. We talked about some of the decisions that he used to make. We talked about some of the people that he used to surround himself with. He always attacks when I have a really strong guy. Oh, <clears throat> we back? Okay, good. For those of you that are watching on replay, you don't ever have to deal with any of this live stuff, so you won't notice anything. For those of you that were watching live, I apologize for that couple-minute delay. We just had a little bit of an internet issue, but I stink and love you guys because we're still here 95 strong at 5.30 a.m., which is incredible. But we talked about some decisions that he made in his relationship. Some, some decisions that could have completely altered the course of history with his wife, with his kids, with his family, and with his business, right? It all comes down to those single, seemingly small decisions that we make. So pretty neat, having those discussions with David Villa. I love to study success, right? How you doing, Brian Benstock? Great to see you here, sir. I love to study success and massive, you know, ultimately uh, learn from their mistakes as well as from their wins on how I can grow my business, how you can grow your business, how you can change the culture for you. So as I talked to David Villa, I learned more. And one of the first things that he really made an impact on or the really, one of the things that he hit on strongly was the importance of the relationships, the importance of our relationships outside of work, right? The importance of our relationships with our spouse and how they complement us, how they fill the voids. I thought it was really interesting. David and I both are visionaries. David and I both are very like we in front, put us in front of the camera type people, but our spouses are not. Our spouses are more quiet, they're more reserved, they're more contained. They balance us out. It's that balance that makes us work. I also talked to David Villa a little bit yesterday about some of the other things that helped him grow his business, helped him grow in his family. And one thing that he didn't say, but one thing that I saw is that it was clear that God has made a massive impact and played an incredible role in his success. You see, when you walk around the David Villa Studios, you'll see there's inspiring words everywhere. When you listen to the way that his people talk, all day yesterday while I was here, they kept saying, Glenn, how can I serve you? Serve, 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 serve. I kept hearing that word everywhere that I went. It was clear that there's a culture. I was riding here with his brother-in-law who picked me up at the airport in a nice old Land Rover. David's got a nice, he's got a nice ride. He's got some nice digs. But as I'm riding over here from the airport, his brother-in-law just kept talking about what a blessing it was. What a blessing the last 10 years has been for him to be a part of this company and a part of this family. Words like serve, words like blessing. God has made a massive impact in the success of IPD and all of the people inside it. He's got an incredible culture over here. Just imagine if everyone in your house, imagine if everyone in your business was walking around saying, how can I serve you? How can I serve you? You know, as I've learned to get, to get to know David Villa a little bit better over time, we've done some things together. We've been on Hustle and Grind Con stages. We've, been, we've done Facebook live-a-thons, and he's just a man who pours into his family. And family doesn't just mean immediate. It's crazy. Right here in his offices, his wife has an office. His brother-in-law has an office. His dad's got an office, right? They've all got offices here, like they're building this thing together. But yet you can't tell the difference between one of his family members that's blood or actual family and his employees. 
it's all just one big family here. It's really, really incredible to experience. If you ever get an opportunity, you'll, you'll, you'll feel what I feel. And so I told you at the beginning of this episode that I was going to give you three things. I told you I was going to give you the simple steps that you need in your life in order to increase the impact you have in this life and the influence that you have in your life. And we're going to do this. It's three, three simple steps. I'm going to give you this. I hope you're ready to be transformed. There are three steps that I've learned as I continue to follow as I continue to watch people of massive success, as I learn all the different things, if you do these three steps, it will increase your impact in life and your influence. I need you to love God, love yourself, and love others. Dave Villa does all three. Every day, every time I'm around him, every opportunity that he gets. What he's built here is, is, is the foundation is these three things. They love God. He loves himself. Ask anybody around here. They'll tell you David Villa likes himself, right? In a good way. And he loves others. So what does that mean, Glenn? What does it look like to love God? Well, to love God is to honor him. And the best way, they say that imitation is the best form of flattery, right? So we honor him, we study him, we watch his every move, we, we learn what he looks like, what does he sound like. That's how we love God. We love God by imitating his actions, by thinking through, by making decisions, small decisions daily that make us look more like him. We love ourselves by humbly, humbly adoring ourselves. You see, to humbly adore yourself doesn't say I'm better than anyone or, I, or to be vain or to constantly be in the mirror, but you have to adore the fact that you are a child of God. You see, when you adore yourself, you take care of yourself. When you adore yourself, you'll, take, you'll, you'll, you'll work out. You'll take care of yourself physically. When you adore yourself, you'll eat right. You'll take care of yourself physically. When you adore yourself, you'll walk with your head held high. You'll walk in confidence. When you adore yourself, you'll realize that you add value, that you are an asset in the room, a child of God, uniquely made by the God of the universe, the God who made everything, made you. And you can humbly walk in that. Let your light shine. And when I say love others, that's to include all. You see, we're all sisters and brothers. We're all walking this journey. We're all doing this thing called life. And some of us are making decisions that maybe others don't agree with. And some of us might look a little bit different than others might look. And some of us might grow up a little bit different than others grew up. But ultimately, we are called to love others, to love all, not just those that agree with us, not just those that look like us, not just those that, are sur that we're surrounded with, but all we are all brothers and sisters it's a crazy thing that i've learned man i've lived on both sides of this i've been a man who lived with no faith i've been a man who's lived with faith i've been a man who's had success in his life and i've been a man who has been homeless in his life i've lived on both sides and i'm telling you if you can just do these three things it will increase your impact and your influence on this planet love god love yourself and love others. Follow those three steps and the increase will be incredible. Lou, cue my video. Whenever you start your day, you need to start it with God. Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that I have is by the grace of God. If you are completely obsessed and totally focused, if you're taking massive action and getting better and better at executing, there's only one more thing you need to get whatever you want, and that's grace. Some call it luck, some call it grace, you might call it God, but there's no question in my life that grace is there. It's those 
things that show up to guide you when you've done the first two steps and your intent is something larger than just yourself. How many times do we decide to put God first, but then the keeping him first becomes an issue because in case you haven't noticed, the world is full of things to distract us. If you're trying to do something, it supports you, but it supports your family as well. It supports your community. It supports your country. It supports the world. A different level of insight comes through you. And that happens, this thing called grace. And I think the more you acknowledge grace, the more it shows up. So I'm not here to tell you what to believe spiritually. I don't believe in that. I believe you got to figure out what you believe and live it. But if you think there is no such thing as grace or God or infinite intelligence or whatever the right words are for you, because words can get in the way of what's real. If you don't think there is, it's kind of like saying the universe is the result of an explosion in a print factory. It all just came together perfectly in sync by accident. I just don't personally subscribe to that. But you can subscribe to whatever you want. I just know that those that acknowledge that something is giving me the gift of life, the more you acknowledge it, the more of it you experience. What are you thankful for? Do you thank God daily for even little things? There's so much to be thankful for. What if you just felt more grateful for the life that you had? You know, look, you're breathing, you're, you're, you're alive. You, you, we, we have this incredible gift that we're all here right now. What you appreciate, appreciates. And the more you complain, the less you obtain. You have enough to overcome in life as it is don't go around against yourself. Quit taking inventory of everything you don't like. Accept the fact that we can't change everything, we can't influence everything, but we can change and influence our attitude, our actions each day. Today is a fresh day. This day is your life in miniature. As you live this day, so you craft your life. A new choice today will lead to a new future tomorrow everything that you want no matter what it is is possible for you to achieve there are no exceptions to that who are you how are you really going to show up today and live your life what are you going to go do get up early in the morning and take care of the hard tasks get them out of the way first don't let some job you have to do threaten you all day and make you dread the day look in the mirror and say this is an awesome day. This is a day of energy. Today I'm a warrior. Today I'm a master. This is the day I will rejoice and be glad. No matter what challenges or setbacks or disappointments you may encounter along the way, you will find true success and happiness if you have only one goal. There really is only one, and that is this. To fulfill the highest, most truthful, expression of yourself as a human being. So incredibly strong, right? What you appreciate, appreciates. This has been an incredible morning. We've had a lot of fun here in the David Villa studios. But ultimately, I don't want to get too far away from the message. I want to make sure that you don't miss the three steps. Love God. Love yourself. Love others. I don't just throw this at you because I read it in a book somewhere. It's not just because somebody told me. I'm sharing these things with you because as I study success, the more and more I study, the more successful people, and when I say success, we're not just talking about money. The more I study successful businesses, successful relationships, successful families, the more I study, the more I see. If we love God, love ourselves, and love others, that's the design. You see, you have to understand something. You, my friend, are a child of God. Right? The God of the universe, the God that made everything, made you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you could possibly be. 
not an average version, not a little bit below average, but the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And you're doing it right now. Every decision that you're making, these small, seemingly tiny decisions, you're watching hashtag rise and grind. You're hopping into the rise and grind group and surrounding yourself with positivity. You're looking for opportunities to serve others. Every one of those decisions it makes an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. And today you've made a massive impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely love you for it. I do. If nobody's told you yet today, I want to be the first. I absolutely stinking love you. You know who else I love? These guys right here. Come here, David Villa and Joe and Leon. You got to stay You got to stay over there. Come over here real quick. I need you guys in the shot. Those of you that came and watched watched with us live this morning. You guys are stinking awesome. You want to give them a send off, David Villa? Yeah, how about this guy right here? Come on now. Buddy, you've done so much, man. Appreciate I love you, what man. you do with your people. You're incredible. Thanks for the invite. Hey, man, it's been pleasure. awesome. Thank Thanks for letting me use your hey, studio. Absolutely, in time. Awesome. And this guy, Joe, right here, man, he's a dancing machine. You want to do some dancing this morning? <laughs> no? <laughs> hey, get out there. Hey, do me a favor. If you would, if you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. If you need some Rise and Grind gear, you can go to glennlundy.com. Most importantly, come back. Will you come back here again tomorrow morning? We're going to do this all over again at 5.30 a.m. on hashtag rise and grind. Music and some shots. Yeah, drop some music, take it off of me, show them a couple pictures, David Villa's pretty face, and maybe some other pictures from dinner that we maybe didn't get to, if, they, if they'll work. <laughs> Because yeah, they get mad. If you don't give them time to say goodbye to each other and stuff, my, my crew be getting mad in the morning. Like, if you just cut the stream, they're like, ah! they'll, they'll, I'll get a message like, I was trying to say goodbye to Terrell. You didn't let me. So you got you to gotta give them time to talk it out. Look, there's still 104 people on it. The show's over. That's how, that's, how, that's how it works. Rising grinders don't mess around. <laughs> you have a terrific day as well, Carrie. See you, Mike Stevens. Gail B. Craft, great to see you. Mike Higdon, you're right, man. All three. All three at the same time. Love God, love people, love others. Or God, love God, love yourself, and love others. Liza Myers Borges, great to see you. Eric Willaroy, Terry LaPierre, Pam Biddle, love it. John Paul Guidry, you guys are awesome. <laughs> He's literally using the one camera to take the picture of the screen. <laughs> I love it. You guys rock. All right, you can kill it whatever you want. <laughs>